Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. We are on February 18th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking here at our very quiet sun. It seems to be a reoccurring beginning to the videos here. Not much to talk about, but plasma. And we did have a small CME that ejected from the northwest limb around those plasma filaments. We'll be able to see that in the next images coming up. But definitely some strange things happening across our planet. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family, and please share these videos. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're actually enjoying the videos. And watch time means a lot. If you make it to the end of the video, please make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe, so we can stay aware and prepared. Try to stay young and have fun, you know what I mean? So yes, looking at our sun here at uh, 511 angstroms, you can see here on the left side, the heliosphere was, was affected. Something left the sun. And then we'll see on the Lasco 2 image, the CME that it did project. Wanted to show a different light here, show any coronal hole activity, and there is no coronal hole activity, except in the southern region. So zero sunspots, zero coronal holes, just a bunch of plasma firing away. Let's flip over to the Lasco 2 image, and you can see the corona affected on the left side. Right there. Nothing too serious, but definitely a CME to talk about. It looks like it affected both sides. Looking here at Enlil Spiral, watching for incoming space weather, and we don't have any incoming space weather. It's very quiet. We were expecting a coronal hole wind stream, and it was not much. So we are at variable solar wind speeds at around 400 kilometers per second. Let's get to earthquakes here. The last 24 hours, as the earthquake swarm continues, Dominican Republic, we had a couple small quakes here in Texas, 3.2 and a 3.9. Small rumbles, Hawaii, and as well, California. Lake Davis, small rumbles continuing in Alaska. It's big movement today, 5.4 from yesterday here in Japan. But a lot of movement today in Indonesia after a deep earthquake this morning, 4.7 in Wallace. 400 kilometer depth. So that's the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. And look at all the minor fours that went across Indonesia and up into Philippines. 4.7s to 4.9. Papua New Guinea as well, 4.7 here, Indonesia, right beside Krakatoa, 4.8 Tajikistan, 4.8 in Turkey, and this wasn't reported yesterday, but it is here now, a 4.7 just off the coast of Spain, 5.2 here in the North Pole, north of Svalbard, 10 kilometer depth, so interesting movement, plate movement across the planet right now. Every continent being affected. South America here, 5.1, 4.3, 4.2, sorry. Constitution, Chile. So we got to watch our quiet zones. Still Africa plate line, Eurasia, and as well North American plate line. This is pretty busy, 24 hours. Expect something big. Definitely got to watch our quiet zones, our subduction zones. Just have a plan, everybody. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. We started off quiet week, but things have definitely increased across the African plate and into Eurasia. South American plate.
most deepest earthquakes have been recent, so stay aware prepared. Expect a bigger one, 6.0 or greater. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here, look at all the latest disasters from around the world. As we're still watching huge low pressure systems across the Northern Hemisphere. Flooding conditions continue across the United States and all the volcanoes recently. So looking at Sangay, Popo, Fuego, Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, the Kono in Indonesia. That's about 12 volcanoes just in the past four hours that have been updated. The Tal Volcano is still going off. Nevado's, Nevado de Ruiz is still going off. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning into Morning Dew. I really appreciate your loyalty, your love, and support to this channel. Please don't forget to hit the like button. It makes a big difference, especially when it comes to videos being suggested. So across the United States, flooding conditions continue straight down the Mississippi into southeastern Georgia as well. North Carolina flooding conditions, South Dakota. Many flooding conditions across Europe as well. Northern Hemisphere is just being inundated by atmospheric rivers and large low pressure systems. Just look at the flood warnings across the United Kingdom here. From Scotland down into Wales and England. My very good friend Sarah in Nottingham is dealing with flooding conditions. She needs a boat to get her kid to school. Much love and thoughts and prayers to you, Sarah, and your family, and everyone being affected in Europe. Extreme cold conditions across Canada. It is minus 17 outside right now, and that's without the wind chill. Let's get to Meteor Earth, brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. Cold, very cold conditions. Things will be warming up later in the week, but it's going to be a dry week across Canada as that high pressure ridge came in and sucked up all the moisture and froze it and brr, that's all I can say. Holy smokes, look at this high pressure ridge dipping straight down to the Carolina States. And then forming a, nor a nor'easter to affect all of the Atlantic provinces in the next couple days and then heading into the Atlantic Ocean to where? Go figure, United Kingdom again. All of these low pressure systems are following the same jet stream atmospheric river of low pressure systems to affect United Kingdom over the next little while and as well parts of Eastern Europe. Norway receiving a lot of snow. Watch for heavy snow and heavy rains. Flash flooding conditions across Iran and Iraq over the next coming days as well as low pressure system develops here. That came from the Mediterranean. That was a Mediterranean low. Not much to talk about. Philippines, definitely something to talk about here in Australia as both Northern Australia and Southeastern Australia will be receiving heavy amounts of rain as this large low pressure system forms in later in the week. And as well, this one here heading across land, Southeastern Australia. Two areas of interest here, two tropical cyclone areas of interest. South America, I was looking at pictures already on Facebook a lot of hail falling in parts of Bolivia and Paraguay. Heavy rains to continue. Central America, coastal regions, Panama, Colombia. Tropical cyclone Gabakil, which is not affecting humans at all. No islands in its way. And drier conditions will start to continue throughout Africa, which is good because they received a lot of torrential downpours over the last little while, flooding out and displacing hundreds of thousands. 
Thanks everybody for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. God bless humanity. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.